Well, hello friends and soul family, beautiful rising, good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday, August 16th of 2023 so happy Wednesday to all of you out there I hope that you are all doing so very well so today is the new moon in Leo and uh, yeah you can obviously see that my setup is a little different where I am at there is not very much light and so I have a separate light that is shining on me. I'm using my cell phone light. So, yeah, because where I'm at in this room, it doesn't have much natural light. So, on this day uh, of the new moon, where the night is the darkest, so is the daytime right now. So, I feel that, yeah, that's a nice alignment there. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, so all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So tune into your intuition to find out what that message is. So yeah, as I mentioned, today is the new moon in Leo, and so we are going to be reading from the Moon Energy book, Moon Energy, A Practical Guide to Using Lunar Cycles to Unleash Your Inner Goddess by Stephanie LaFranc, illustrated by Vic O. And so I am so very excited. So first... We are going to start by reading the August new moon energy. So if you saw the August video, then you know that August is about celebrating prosperity. And the August new moon is all about radiance. So yeah, like, yeah, I feel that. I definitely feel that, like, the radiance. So, yeah, so let's read it, and then we will read the new moon in Leo energy. So, August new moon radiance. Energies are active during this period because the days are longer, but it is still a time for contemplation. Know how to slow down, redefine your rhythm, and feel free from any hindrance. Let your energy radiate, reinforce your confidence, and let your feminine power glow. By opening yourself to internal clarity, you will acquire greater personal strength and determination. The new moon pushes you to gently assert yourself without judgment, without guilt, and rejoicing in your creative abilities. She offers you the chance to become your own light source and propels you toward independence. With the radiance centered in your chest at the heart chakra, you will reassess your professional, familial, and personal relationship with others. This reevaluation of your human ties will open you to profound modifications and making new choices. With the August new moon, you connect directly to your instinct and can let yourself be guided. Listen to the path of your heart. Anahata Chakra is the heart chakra located in the center of the chest. Meditate with the mantra of the August new moon while concentrating on the fourth chakra. Feel its green light grow brighter and spread throughout this area of your body. The mantra, I nourish my inner flame with love. I nourish my inner flame with love. 
and the intentions in myself, I find the resources I need to create the life I want. I am radiant because I have confidence in myself. I love that mantra. In myself, I find the resources I need to create the life I want. I am radiant because I have confidence in myself. I love that so much. So if you are intending on doing any new moon ritual or if you needed a mantra for the August new moon, for the Leo new moon, then yeah, go ahead and use that one. So the golden hands ritual. Open the circle, sit down alone, and rub your hands together until you start to feel the energy so until you start to feel energy circulating. Clasp your hands together in front of you, then open them to the sky. Now imagine two round and shining moons in the centers of your palms and place your hands on your chest at the heart chakra. Call upon the goddess Ishtar and ask her to radiate within you and allow your feminine power to take its rightful place. Feel the energy circulating, set your intentions, Place your open hands in front of you once more and observe that that energy is now diffusing around you. So observe that energy is now diffusing around you. Close the circle. I love it. So if you go back and watch the video of the August energy, then you will um, hear the information about Ishtar because we read about her so yeah so it's a heart chakra energy it's all about radiance and it's all about us being confident within ourselves and how that feels so let's read our black moon in leo information so the black moon in Leo, let me see, let me get this next page queued up, <laughs> okay, Black Moon in Leo, Priapus in Aquarius, Pride versus Retreat, the Black Moon in Leo marks an indisputable radiance, there it is again, the radiance, <laughs> you were, you were a charismatic being and the center of everyone's attention, People watched everything you did with interest. You had nothing to prove, and this is what led to your fall. Persuaded that you had it all, you became disproportionately proud and stopped tolerating opinions contrary to your own, and even the slightest departure from your mindset. This is the behavior that provoked your humiliating tumble from your pedestal. Your greatest fear is being in the shadows. You can't bear being in second place and no longer being admired and would prefer to pull away completely. You withdraw. You sometimes encounter joint problems, forms of rheumatism, and photosensitiv photosensitivity. <clears throat> so the Priapus in Aquarius. Priapus in Aquarius completely counterbalances your fear of being in the spotlight. Leo's greatness will help you contribute to ambitious group projects that will have an impact on the entire community. You are innovative and add value to these projects, but the shadow of om omnipotence may reemerge when you try to impose your vision on others under the guise of great humanist principles. You are characterized by your ability to live with others, but outside the circle. On the other hand, you are captivated by sunny personalities that capture other people's attention and whose radiance is so powerful that it splashes over onto you. So, ah, that energy, I had to, I felt like I had to release so the energy of the black moon, if you remember before, that is the energy of our past lives or and things that, you know, we 
experienced from our shadow aspects or our lower aspects and you know the priapus is the opposite that's the counter balance of that and so with you know when we're tuning into this past life energy of the you know the black moon it's saying that we we have we had a fear of being in the shadows and so you know look at your life currently and see if that still rings true to you because at this time we are being guided to release everything that no longer serves our highest good and if you you know find yourself in fear of you know anything then tune into where you feel that fear is coming from and release it you know we're being guided to release it to know that it is not something that you feel is necessary for you to move forward and shift your energy because we all have the power to do that individually within ourselves and that's what we are being guided to do so yeah so that is the message for this wonderful Wednesday I know that it's late as I'm posting this I did have a, a family emergency and so I wasn't able to post this earlier I had to I had a bit of a delay and so but all is well and uh, so yeah it is the new moon so tonight is the darkest of the nights because the moon is on the moon is hidden by the sun so yeah so whatever mantras or intentions that you want to set for this next um, cycle of the moon then you know tune into your intuition and allow yourself to be guided to it but that is the message I hope that you all found something that you resonate with if you did, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to receive more of these daily messages. So thank you all so very much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.